thank you very much for being here. Uh, I wanted to take some time to clear up some of the questions that have been raised about my behavior over the past 10 days or so. And <laughs> to take full responsibility for my actions, I, I have made some mistakes. And I have hurt those closest to me. Last Friday night, a congressman whose name is synonymous with a sexual organ <laughs> sent a photo of it to a young woman on Twitter. It was, by any standard, a gift from the comedy, whatever it is comedians have that takes the place of a god. Um, <laughs> Last week, we spent three days on this story. We did over 59 jokes. Nine penis puns. We used an R. Kelly impersonator to provide trapped in the closet style commentary. And I, and I personally said the word 10 times. I acknowledged I acknowledged a personal friendship with the congressman and yet expressed my belief that he was not being honest and that if the worst of his allegations were in fact true, he should resign. And then I said the word <laughs> again. That's nice. I recognize now that it was not enough. Yesterday, Congressman Weiner confessed that the penis in question was, in fact, his own. He did so at a press conference. He did so. He did so at a press conference at 4:30 in the afternoon. We tape our program at 6 p.m. I made the decision. to do a couple of wiener jokes, mention the press conference, but to mostly stick to the script that we'd already written about John Edwards and Sarah Palin. <laughs> this was my decision. <laughs> my decision alone. I recognize how wrong I was. That's not good. I brought pain to people I care about. My staff, my audience, my beautiful and exotic family. I did not explicitly state that I thought Mr. Weiner had been deceitful last night, that he was a liar, and that I believed his pants to be on fire. 
Although, luckily for the congressman, it appears he has a fire safety system on board. Anyway, for these reasons, unlike the congressman, I have decided to step down. Uh, no! Everyone, please! No! No! I will turn the program over now to someone whose accent falsely makes you believe you can trust him. John Oliver. John Oliver. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. And please, please, before I continue, let me assure my viewers that from now on there will be no pussying out. Just, no offence. No, i I solemnly promise to rip Anthony Weiner a new ass, <laughs> An ass that even he would not text a picture of. Why? Because it will be so big it won't fit within Twitter's 140 character limit. <laughs> that sleazy McJufro will get no quarter from me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We're, what? We're talking about the congressman, right? Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, no problem, yeah. John, I will hound him, I will mock him until his shame is visible. A bulge straining against the fabric of his being, begging to be released. But this time, Wiener, there will be no happy ending. And as for you, Stuart, and your visibly, visibly injured hand, that's a genuine problem. That's a genuine problem. Don't, that's, that's... Yep. We better hurry up this <laughs> bit, because I am bleeding out, mother... John, that's it. Toss it in. He, he, can, he can swab himself down. You're fine. You're fine. Don't be so Jewish about it. You're fine. Just grow up. You're fine. You're fine. You're absolutely fine. It's a nick. Right, I, sh I should be Catholic. I should turn it into a drink. <laughs> That's, let's not drink. It was a long time ago. The point is, John, I would recommend you to grow a pair, take a picture of that pair, and text it to yourself to remind yourself what balls look like. <laughs> Because you had a chance to dry your eyes, turn off your soul, and give this audience the prepubescent <laughs> jokes they waited outside in 90 degree temperatures for, and you failed, John. Well, no more. No more, John. No longer. Swamp yourself down.